Hello everyone, Basil Chapman here on this uh, Tuesday. This is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network update at 11. And we're looking at, uh, on the 26th of October, we're looking at the Dow up 125 at an all-time high. This is leg D. In the Chapman Wave uh, methodology, we're always looking for at least a peak D in a buy mode. And that says that with the S&P still only in leg C and a very strong move today up, 29 at 45.96. We still have to wait for a peak C and then a leg D, and then we're going to get a little bit cautious. So, so far, buy modes are in place all the way around. Look at the QQQ. Uh, one, two, three. Here we go. QQQ is trading up four at 382.11. It's trying to tackle the 382.78. High that, wow, we got to 382.71. It's almost an all time high. Whoops, what happened here? Q, Q, Q. Let's see if I can get there. It is. And that'll make the weekly chart probably a leg F. We're looking at this is very strong. IWM as well. So now I want to do a couple of things because, gee, I had a question in my show, the Tiger Conditions Hour, a, a moment ago. I, I didn't have a chance to do it. But look, GE had a spectacular earnings and it spiked to 110.97. Remember, this is a stock that really should be trading at 11, uh, $10 rather than. 108.57 but I think GE is starting a comeback and it's this is part of the whole big cycle so GE is acting well this is a, actually a good sign economically looking out I had a question about GDX where, we, where should it stop here I'm just going to say it's holding well at 33.20 I wouldn't put a stop in just yet if you're long from way down um, as we are for subscribers to our opening call. But 32.67 is a 33.20 right now. Let's look at it again if there's a problem at 33, at 32.60 in the 32.60s. But so far, I would just keep it, even though it's made a peak E. We want to look at, and gold did take a huge hit today. It's down uh, 20, uh, 20 bucks at 17.87. TLT is trying to rally. A couple of things that I want to look at. You're going to be going to Larry Pesavento uh, for uh, Trade What You See. Wonderful show, of course. And great shows coming up after that. There's Think or Swim, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien. I'll be back with Tom O'Brien this afternoon. So in the meantime, uh, just keep an eye on how all these particular indices hold their gains as they move into the 1.32 o'clock area. So far, this is really every every dip has been bought, and that's good. So keep an eye on the volatility index. The volatility index, instead of spiking from the uh, 60, 15.20 level right now, pops over to 15.80. That says, oh, be a little careful. We're starting to see some weakness later in the day. But holding in the 1520s, that, that's really very bullish. Have a wonderful day, and I uh, stay tuned for Larry, and I will see you tomorrow.